Hail, take two. You can know when you see, I don't know which one I'll put up first, but thank you guys, you helped me find something I lost. I can't believe it happened. This video is actually for Stoney's Outdoor Adventure and Georgia Boy Trapping, and anybody else has any interest in canine trapping a coyote or a fox. And we're gonna start off by talking a little canine. And you're coming up through this old road here. The interstate runs up there, but uh, the wildlife doesn't pay much attention to it. My truck's parked in it. You can see it comes up through. It's an old road, abandoned road. It ends right here. The town section does. It goes down on the mine land. We'll be back and get that stuff in a minute. But here you are, a nice young fox or bull or coyote even a dog, but we're not going to worry about dogs for the moment. And you're walking down through here. And we all know what they like to do better than anything in the world is look for something that makes them say, I got to go pee on that. Mark their turf, let everybody else know they're around. I don't know what they do it for. The ladies don't get upset. There's nothing that female canines like any better to go up and say somebody left me a message I gotta go smell that and that is also known by us human species as the urine set the best way to make these is to take your dog for a walk and watch what he smells and then when trapping season comes along go set a trap by it because dogs foxes coyotes they love to sniff each other's pee don't ask me why but they do oh they like the turds too but we're not gonna deal with that today what we have here is an old rotted stump that i actually threw there why i chose a rotten stump is the urine soaks into it i mean if you go up and you pee on a rock and it rains it's gone but if you pee on rotten punk wood it tends to stick around now, you can make these with a chainsaw out of tree. And if you want to speed them up for the retention of the urine smell, throw them in a fire, let them char up good, take them out and put them out with a hose. Trust me, they work great. I've used them years ago. I haven't trapped in years, but these two guys have kind of kind of motivated me, and I may just trap a little bit. And... I'm going to get the camera set up on a tripod and give you just a little bit of an idea of how it's done and I'm going to show you guys a secret weapon that you may already know about and, but if you don't you're going to be glad you did when this is over. Alright let me go get a tripod, a trap, a shot, a spade, a screen and a secret weapon. Okay to make this sack, the screen trap with pan cover. This happens to be a number two Victor. Coil spring, very old. It's for demonstration purposes only. Number one, you wouldn't lay on the ground, but I hurt my knee the other day and it's a little hard to kneel on that one. And it's also not trapping season. First thing you're going to do is get rid of the large debris right there, which you kind of brush it away. You wouldn't use your hands. You'd have gloves on. You want some of that stuff for later. Now, you're going to target which front foot you're going to catch this, this by. You're also going to think about whether it's a fox or whether it's a coyote. Because a fox's little feet are like this. Coyotes are like this. A fox's nose is here, his front foot's here. A coyote's nose is here, his front foot's here. So, for the purpose of everybody here, you're going to go for the right foot. And you want to dig a hole. Put your bed your trap in. Now I'm going to use a hatchet for things that we normally don't do in the normal world. That's why I have these S-Wing hardened hatchets and I've got to using them. We're going to discard that somewhere. This is my land so I can do that. If you're on private land, you might not want to just up and do that kind of stuff. And you want to break this dirt up as you go. I'm going to dig a pretty good area up. I'd like not to disturb that stick there if I could. Alright, let's start putting this dirt in there and move this up here. Right away, so I'm going to move it over here. Bet you're all wondering what that old beer bottle's doing there. 
I'll try to explain that when I'm spending this time digging a hole. I forgot a bottle for like a spray bottle. And uh, I'm going to dig that hole. And you're going to have leather gloves on so you're not leaving a bunch of smell here. Oh, two, two and a half inch diameter is good. Looks like a good right foot catch. Now, I don't have a pan cup. I'm sure those guys know what they are. And I went to these S-wing hatchets for canine trapping because they're hardened. And this is the system we used. Swivel here, swivel there, swivel here, swivel here. I prefer them over here, myself, centered. And if I was going to use that trap, I would move it over here. And we'll put the trap down. Figure out where we want the stake. Let's go right there with the stake. Y'all get the general idea. Now we'll set the trap. I haven't set this trap in years, so I don't know. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty good right there. So we've already pounded the stake in, but I'm going to do that today. You can kind of get the general idea. Stake goes in. Put it at an angle. It comes out harder. Trust me on that. Now take... In the perfect world, we would use a pan cover. This would go up. The pan cover would go up over the pan and come down. But I don't have one today. I'm going to have to pick up some nylon mesh. And you start putting the dirt back on. I put too much dirt in the screen. I'll have to do a little bit at a time. Now you use a screen, and actually this one is a little bit bigger than we need. And it's for the garden. Scatter your stuff around, and we don't want those in there. Don't do that, because if that trap went off, I wouldn't have been happy. But it's not the end of the world if it does. Scatter them around. high spots or low spots and right now you can kind of see I do have probably gonna set that trap off doing that okay I'm gonna take this maple leaf now get your stuff out of the way and you didn't crawl around the ground like I did just old cripples that hurt your legs so now you bring the secret weapon out. I read this in a book many years ago and I want to tell you it works good. You see the general area where the trap is. We're all set up for a right foot catch. Kind of funneling them in there to smell that, work that set. They're coyote. Now you sweep. Sweep all around. Sweep a little bit of debris in there. You don't want any big large chunks. But you sweep. Make that look as natural. Some leaves in there won't hurt a thing. And as untouched as you can. Of course, it looks like it was dug a little bit. There you go. Now, this beer bottle, because I forgot a spray bottle to, for demonstration purposes, is our spray bottle of coyote urine and we around a little bit so the whole area has a smell then we really right down the stump so it smells pretty pissy every canine that comes through here is going to smell that the good part to this set is it works you know mr coyote's coming up he's well, I'm cautious if it's not his area. He's kind of new in the neighborhood. He's not 
not really racing right in. It's like, where is that other guy? I don't want to fight. I just want to smell. If he is the dominant male that has his area marked, he's going to come over and say, hey! Or a female is going to come in and smell it. And as you can see, you have them trapped. That's how we did the urine set for years, guys. Kind of hope you like it. You guys kind of motivated me. And I found a very old beer bottle because of you fellas. And I found that ferro rod that I lost. So you guys have a great day.